postman's knock, postman's knock. Ah, postman's knock. See salesman's knock, page 22. Yeah. Salesman's knock. In this advanced version of postman's knock, the salesman may ask for more than just a kiss. <laughs> he may possibly... <laughs> and if he feels that he can... <laughs> oh dear, I... Uh... My word, we'll play that. <laughs> <laughs> Salesman's knock, that's a must. There we are. And uh, now here we are. Pilchards. <laughs> Advanced version and adult version of sardines. <laughs> in which the most extraordinary mix-ups can occur. See frontispiece. Whose leg is that? Oh, <laughs> oh dear, what a, what a fright, Frank. 169 games for swinging parties. <laughs> oh, you randy little stoat. <laughs> oh, stoat, perhaps. Little I grant you, but randy, no. <laughs> oh, perhaps now and again. <laughs> Still, you wouldn't mind being him, would you? Mm. Hey? <laughs> or him. <laughs> or even those three. <laughs> Wait a minute, that number of legs doesn't divide by two. <laughs> no, it's for the, uh, for the party Saturday, you know. You've got your, uh, got your invitation? Yeah, I got it this morning, thanks. Oh, good. At home, bring a bottle. It didn't say it was an orgy. I know, but who can tell where things will go with a house full of young and attractive people like you and me, eh? Well, you're young and I'm attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, things won't go at all with your mother around. Ah, but she won't be around, you see. It's the wedding anniversary. So I've given them a present of a British Rail winter break weekend in Cromer, where they had the honeymoon. Cromer? Second honeymoon irresistible. But it's February. Well, the aquarium might be closed, true, but I mean, at least Father's nose won't get blistered. <laughs> it's on the East Coast. I mean, the wind comes straight up the steps of Asia. They'll die. Well, they can stay in the hotel, can't they? I mean, there's a sauna there. Father can have a massage. For old time's sake. <laughs> That'll kill him even quicker. <laughs> but it's worth it. I've ordered a barrel of beer, crusty old 10x. Pint of that, and I'm in if it is. Yeah, two pints and you're nobody's. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's fool, Frank. Just think, just think. We'll have all our friends there, the coats in the front bedroom, I thought, cider cup in the kitchen, smoochy music, you know, Everly Brothers, Dennis Lotus, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Crepe crimson paper over the light, you know, almost total darkness. <laughs> and Veronica Straddles. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can read you like a book. Yeah, a book of adult games, oh, too. <laughs> yeah, all you're after is getting Veronica Straddles in the cupboard while the rest of us count up to a million. I happen to think that Veronica Straddles, if you're interested, is a very nice thinking sort of girl. <laughs> oh, yes. Her IQ's three less than a chess measurement. <laughs> she's a delicious, lovely girl with a faraway look in her eyes. Yeah, she's trying to see where her chest stops. Oh, <laughs> hey. hey. Which one of these is the postman? The one being bitten by the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be there. But if your mother ever finds out there's a chance of you enjoying yourself... Look, she won't find out, don't you see? All the RSVPs are coming to the library. The food I shall organise after they've gone. The beer arrives at midday. It is foolproof. Famous last words. Now, who put that there? Good <laughs> Don't make that breathing noise, Sydney. It's only me breathing. Do you have to? I was breathing. I was breathing when we first met. That day. <laughs> to think that Captain Bostock was about to propose to me. <gasps> what a husband he'd have made. Pity he didn't. He'd have no trouble with breathing there. He's dead. <laughs> He's still more lively than you are. <laughs> Oh, here he is at last. Is that you, Timothy? Uh, yes, it is, Mummykins. Mummykins? <laughs> What's going on? He's been a lot too nice the last few days. Have you wiped your feet? Yes, Mother. Wiped my feet. Nose newly blown. Fingernails scrubbed. <laughs> I can't vouch for my belly button. 
There's no need to be lavatorial. <laughs> lavatorial? Belly butt, mother. You must know something I don't. It's the lowest form of wit. <laughs> Are we having the junket again? Or has the National Trust taken it over? <laughs> A lot of sweat went into that junket. Ah, that's what it was, wasn't it? I didn't... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry. Yum, yum, mummykins. Lovely lunch. Junket notwithstanding. Who's a sweet mummy? <laughs> Why are you sucking up to me, Timothy? Uh, You're so unlike yourself. I'm not a bit unlike myself. I'm identical to myself. This is me, isn't it? Do try to be adult, please, Timothy. Sorry, Mother. Mummykins, I mean. Huh. Oh, dear. Well, do you know what I was... I was reading a book today in the library, very interesting, which said that Cromer has the most invigorating February climate in the whole of Eastern Europe. Yes? From a sunshine point of view, it knocks Bratislava into a cocked hat. <laughs> you know, going east from Cromer, the next bit of high land is the Urals. Be quiet, Sydney. <laughs> Other people want to talk sometimes. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm afraid I've been thinking about Cromer. Your father doesn't want to go. Why not? Why not, father? Why not what? You don't want to go to Cromer, do you? Don't I? It's his knee. And the wind. Well, he's got his charcoal biscuits. I mean, what's that? <laughs> no, the east oh, wind. Oh, I see. Who can that be? The east wind, mother. That is the warm one, you know. Don't be silly. Why did you want to go? It's a present, a treat from me. Second honeymoon. Uh, tell the truth, Timothy. The first one was no great shakes. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Consummation-wise or...? Otherwise wise, I mean, what do you mean? There was barbed wire all over the front. Mother's front? <laughs> no, the prom. Hitler swept into Europe. Well, he won't be doing that this time. Well, that was the phone you wore, of course. Yeah. Before your mother really got stuck into me. <laughs> oh, there you go. Honeymoon Hotel. Down there in the refuge room, sitting there in the dark, holding hands. Kissing and cuddling. What, in a gas mask? <laughs> well... What? Cromer is totally out of the question. No. That was your sister on the telephone. Oh. Yet another bombshell. She's not talking to her husband. Oh, what? Well, they're always not talking. There's never a time when they're not not talking. I mean, they like doing things together, don't they? Now they're not talking together. It's simply <coughs> fair. Trust you to take her part. Now, mind out, it's hot. The plate, not the food. Oh. <laughs> The plate. Well, it's a start, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lovely, lovely, yum yum, mummykins. Don't mummykins me. I'm not going anywhere when my daughter needs me. Mother, your daughter doesn't need you. She can come here, stay with me. I'll look after her. You know, she can help with the refreshments, the fresh mints, the mints. You know, for the pies, for the party. What party? And, well, the, the Social Democrat Party, mother. <laughs> The middle of the road party, dear. Having a party in the middle of the road, I'm certainly not going. <laughs> Are your insides working properly? <laughs> Mother, you have to go to Cromer, please, for my sake. I mean, it's the queen of the Norfolk Riviera, you know. They've even got a digital floral clock. <laughs> the last time I left you and Muriel together, you took off your bus conductor outfits and ran round the garden in your birthday suits. <laughs> well, that's 30-odd years ago, Mother. We won't, be <laughs> won't be doing that now. Good heavens. I mean, we know, we know all about the human body now, you know. Well, Muriel does. I've got a rough well, idea. Cromer's right? <laughs> such a long way. I have a surprise for you, Mother, to speed you on your way. A present. Your food's on the table is nothing sacred. Uh, uh, Mother, there we are. Now, look at this. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Mother. And, of course, to you. Now, mind the junkets. No, never mind. What do you think, Mother? Never mind the junkets. What do you think? Is it a video game? <laughs> Mother, it's a foot scraper. You put your foot in there, you see, and you scrape, you see? Well, not on the table, Timothy, please. No other house in the road has got a foot scraper. No, I can see why. Aren't I going to hear a uh, thank you, Timothy, at all? I mean, I would just... Well... I suppose we can find a use for it. There is a use for it, Mother. You scrape your... It's a flaming food scraper! No, it's to the I'm sorry, Father. Well, come on. Get the silly gubbins out of here. Silly gubbins? Silly gubbins? This is the executive model, Mother. 
Honestly, it's always the same. Every time I buy you a present, I might as well take it straight to the jumble and cut out the middleman. I'm not going to Cromer if you're going to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mummykins. I'm sorry. Look, I've got, I've got a very good idea. I shall take it, put it outside the door, you see. And when you return from Cromer, you'll be the first person to use it. Right? And you see, every time you scrape your feet, you'll think of me. <laughs> <coughs> what is he up to? Well, this won't fix the foresight here back on the wall. Oh, yes. Get back in the garden. Leave me to do the washing up. Well, I'll give you a hand. No, thank you. I don't want you under my feet with Muriel Cutler. <laughs> Just going to stick the four side in there. Language, Father. I'm sorry to the <laughs> Fair enough. Language, <laughs> Father. Ah, oh, dear. I put it outside. It looks terrific. I think it's going to add value to the house myself. Your macaroni's gone stiff. Oh. Quite stiff. <laughs> I shall have to get you a steak knife. <laughs> what was that? Was it the cat? Not unless it's doing impressions of Father, no. I <laughs> He's probably full on the foot scraper, Mother. Father! Father! Sydney, get up, it's damp. He can't get up. He can't be dead. He's only just got his bus pass. <laughs> Mother, a bus pass is not a guarantee of immortality. Stop showing off. It's all right. He's only unconscious. Well, shake him. You can't shake him, Mother. He's hit his head on the wheelbarrow. He fell over that thing of yours. That's what he did. It's going straight to the jumble. We shall have to call an ambulance. An ambulance? What would the neighbours say? It's <laughs> that dreadful Winford person. Can I help you at all? Is he all right? He often does this. <laughs> Just minding his own business. Thank you. <laughs> Common little man. I'll dial 999. You take his head and I'll get a cushion. No need. This'll do. <laughs> Bloody bravo, mother. Language, Timothy. Sorry, father, sorry. Oh, where am I? Oh, oh, my head. Oh. Did he hit his head? Are you suggesting he's drunk? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Good. Get on with your digging. Oh. Oh, Sydney. You always have to be the centre of attention, don't you? <laughs> They're taking their time, these ambulance people. Twenty minutes! I know, he could have had a baby by now. <laughs> Don't get pregnant falling over a scraper. What about that woman at number 22? That was that dreadful jobbing gardener. Common knowledge. Well, this is all a damn waste of time. I'm getting inside. You're not going anywhere. And when they come, lie down properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye to Cromer, then. What? Well, your father's concussed. His mind's wandering. Well, it always is, Mother. <laughs> this is mine. They should have the bus pass. <laughs> well, I'm not going on a second honeymoon with him concussed. He was only partly conscious the first time. <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. Mm. Yes, here it is. This is the plate. This we... <laughs> is dreary, Laurie. Outrageous. I don't want it now. I want it on Saturday. Don't we all, mate? <laughs> now, wasn't there anything written on the instructions? Well, all this palaver. One mini pin 10x. Part round the corner. Leave barrel in edge. Not three times. If mother answers, run away. I should go go. Yes, and on Saturday. It won't sell in time. It's got to be today. Oh, hang on! <laughs> They'll understand, they'll understand. No, you'll hurt him, you'll hurt him. It doesn't matter, he's going to hospital anyway. Leave him alone. He's my husband. The secretary's at my back. Don't worry, I've seen a lot worse than that. It's not me, it's him. Oh, I'm all right. Well, who is the patient? Not me. No me. <laughs> and you can mind your own business. Right home. Have we been dragged all the way up here for nothing? Yes, you have. Classic. Nobody's even hurt. <laughs> 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 he, he, he put the f 
fork right to his foot. <laughs> so they took him to hospital. <laughs> I haven't laughed so much since your mother drove off with the wheel lock on. <laughs> she, she went round and round six times before she noticed. Uh... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. <laughs> Just thought it must be funny, that's all. <laughs> Was it funny at all? Are you taking the mickey, Timothy? No, no, not at all. Mother says you've got to go and make the tea. Why me? Well, I don't know why you, why you. I mean, she's worried about something. We were having a jolly good laugh. That's what she's worried about. <laughs> mm. uh, well, Father, eh? All, all set for Cromer, are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, that bang on the head brought it all back, you know. What, the macaroni cheese, you mean? <laughs> With the memories. Oh, uh, the memories. Uh, I think you're old enough to hear this now. Uh, how old are you, by the way? I, I'm 41, Father. Oh, that's <laughs> <good. laughs> the thing is, you see, there was a, an occasion in my marriage that I almost stumbled. Stumbled? What do you mean, on VJ night when the road to home in an oil drum, do you mean? Or... <laughs> no, stumbled, uh, strayed with another woman. Good Lord, Father. Goodness. Still, I suppose. <laughs> Natural enough, I suppose, you know. The magic sort of falls away, I suppose. When was this? Second night of the honeymoon. <laughs> uh, your mother was being playful. <laughs> playful? Mother? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't uh, understand. What do you mean? I'm sorry. She locked me out. So I had to talk my way around the girl on the desk to sleep on the billiard table. <laughs> Doris was her name. <laughs> she came to tuck me in and the money ran out on the lights. <laughs> don't tell your mother, will you? Oh, no, no. About the lights, you mean? Oh, no, no. That nothing happened. Well, wouldn't she be pleased? I don't <laughs> Hems, Timothy, you know nothing at all about marriage, do you? I mean, your mother doesn't want her friends to think that she's married some person that no other woman would look at. If we go to Cromer, I might meet Doris again. <laughs> and nothing might happen again. <laughs> Oh. You've got to keep them on hot coals, Timothy. Oh. <laughs> Not just a pretty face, you know. <laughs> no, no, I can see that. No. <laughs> I... Which of these 11 bottles of milk am I supposed to use first? The one that's just going off. You know the one. I'll get it. Four sugars, Palmer. Uh, we've got to watch the weight. Uh, three and a bit. <laughs> oh. oh, dear, dear, dear. This, um... This um, Kevin and you not talking, you know, it's not serious, is it? Because I mean, I don't want no, I, I must, I don't want mother and father to miss this holiday. They need a break. You know, there is a funny smell in this kitchen. Well, there always was. <laughs> I remember when mother changed your nappy, and it was like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh my God! What's this? It's the wasp trap. It's February. Well, the winter wasps are the worst, you know. <laughs> Honestly, where would you start in this place? Well, you wouldn't, would you, unless you wanted your head examined. How is Kevin, by the way? What? Are you trying to say that my husband needs his head examined? No, no, no. All I'm saying is don't go on a great deal, will you, about Kevin and you not talking. Otherwise, they will never go to Cromer, don't you see? What is so important about Cromer? Well, it's just that, you know, having this party on Saturday... Oh, I'm... I see. No, no, you're invited. You're invited. <laughs> oh, dear, do you remember? <laughs> do, you just remember, do you remember when we used to play Murder in the Dark <laughs> at, at the Routledges? <laughs> yes, I do. And you used to murder that awful Priscilla every time. Oh, I know. Even when you were the detective. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Priscilla. Oh. Mind you, it was mutual. <laughs> and what is her name this time? Sorry, pardon? What? Mm. Veronica. And Not Veronica Straddles. Possibly, possibly. Oh, honestly, Tim, can't you pick on someone your own size? 
There is no one my own size. Goodness. I'll get it, Mother. Uh, I'm quite sorry, Mother. Hang on, hang on. Uh, it's nobody, Mother. It's just the wind. Ringing the doorbell? Uh, the foot scraper fell against the bell. <laughs> Muriel, Muriel, will you get under the table and do something interesting, you know? What? Go under the table, burst into tears, anything. Just what? Please, for me. Oh, Timothy. <laughs> Mother, you're not going to believe this, but Muriel, your daughter, is in the kitchen, under the table, crying her eyes out. What? Yes. She'll lift the lino tile. <laughs> Look, do you want this beer or don't you? It's coming, quickly. Mother, come on. Mother? How old are you? Never mind that. Right, where do you want it? Uh, under the stairs. Yeah, don't we all, mate? <laughs> <laughs> on the table. No, 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 roll. I'll have to get the cradle. No, no, don't get the cradle. Just put it on the top of the table and we'll cover it up. Will it a roll? I shall wedge it with a pair of father's brothel creepers. <laughs> <laughs> Completely uncrept of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you think about it, that's what you need with beer, isn't it? What's that? Pumps. Get it? Oh. <laughs> yes, all right, come on, mother. Um, I did have to come round twice. It is customary to uh, show your appreciation. Well, I'm very, very appreciative, really. <laughs> very appreciative. Doubly. Uh, no, 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 no. Something more than that. All right, then. Well, Get off! I didn't say... I didn't know what you meant. You said something more. Yeah, well, like a quid. Oh, well, that's... I mean, I've just... See what I've got. Oh, that's very nice, sir. Fiver. Thanks very much. <laughs> I was expecting some change. Oh, no, no, no. We're not allowed to carry any money on us, sir. Oh, I see. Were you able to find your own way back to your Rolls Royce? No, no, no. I should tell your mother of you. Ah! <laughs> From the first moment that monster of a husband of yours entered this house, I knew it. I thought to myself, that lout's eyes are too close together. Not the eyes again. Ah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Leave the room, Timothy. The adults are talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I am an adult, this aren't is, I? This is all your fault. Oh, yes. Blame your brother. Anything but see that Kevin monster for what he is, crying under the table when your so-called husband is off gallivanting. He is fishing. Fishing be jiggered. <laughs> He's philandering. Mother, Kevin wouldn't go philandering. His eyes are far too close together. Shut up! <laughs> Men. <laughs> They're all the same. They can't stop themselves. Your father at Cromer. I had to lock myself in the bathroom. He would not stop pestering me. Father? <laughs> and when a decent girl tries to keep herself to herself, they're off. After some receptionist floozy. Receptionist? <laughs> Kevin's inherited it from Sydney. They're not related. That's not the point. <laughs> Mother, Kevin is not off with some other woman. He's gone off with his tin of maggots. He's got his camouflage jacket on by now, you know, and his great big waders up to here, you know. Or up to here in my case, anyway. <laughs> my own daughter. Seduced and abandoned. But, uh, oh, God. Oh, seduced, yes, but not abandoned. Not yet. Oh, really. thank you, Timothy. Well, I'm not going to Cromer under these circumstances. Stop doing that. Look, I will go and fetch Kevin, Mother, and we can speak to him man to man. That is the best thing. Now, where do you say he was? Barrick Ponds. Well, where is that? Just this side of you. That's too far. You can't go. Look, I'm not having your holiday in Cromer ruined by a misunderstanding. I shall go and fetch Kevin, and rest assured, I shall not come back empty-handed. Timothy, you'll never get him to come. Fishing is his favourite thing. Honestly, it's going to take you hours. Is the one that straddles really worth it? <laughs> I've, I've got 37 people coming here on Saturday. The coal bunker is full of ice cubes. <laughs> I've, I've hired the little sticks for the sausages and everything. Oh, very well, then, but take care if you must go. To the straddle. Saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Oh, shut up! You'll disturb the fish. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, fish. <laughs> well, stop crashing about. Keep down. They'll see them bloody straps. Do it, man. Stay. Anybody here seen Kevin? Kelly? No, Kevin. No, <laughs> keep quiet. You can't miss him. His eyes are too close together. <laughs> oh. 
Hello, Kevin. Kevin, it's me, Timothy. What are you doing here? Look, come back. Mother wants to see you. What's fishing? Look, come back. You must see Mother. She thinks you're having an affair. I don't care what she thinks. Three bites in the last two minutes. I'm not coming anywhere. And keep your voice down. You'll frighten the fish. Look, is that your last word on the subject? No, Timothy. My last word is shove off. Right. You have forced me into this action. From now on, I am not responsible for anything I may do. What did you do that for, you stupid? You just spoilt the whole night's fishing. Now, are you coming back with me, Kevin? I'm going to murder you. Right, look, there's no time for violence. I'm a senior librarian. We shall have to get... Are you coming with me, Kevin? Please keep your hands down. We're going to bid you good night and love you and leave you. Follow me, Kevin. Wait! Hey! All packed, except for my shaving tackle. I'll pat that after I've shaved. <laughs> Done these things before, you see. <laughs> Well, you can go and unpack. What? We're not going anywhere with Timothy off on some wild goose chase. There they are now. That's our car. <laughs> Come on, Kevers. I've forgiven you. <laughs> We're still friends. Oh, do Pelter. <laughs> Watch out for that foot scraper thing. Oh, ah! <laughs> it's Kevin. He's exhausted. Proof positive. Mother, he tripped. What happened? I thought I told you to take that thing to the jump or come into the wall. Oh, He's been fishing, Mother, don't you understand? They're talking now. He's come back. They're friendly. So there's no reason why you and Father can't go to Cromer. I've always wanted to go. Well, this calls for a celebration. <laughs> I see, look here, Phyllis. <laughs> My old dancing pumps. We might cut a rug in Cromer. <laughs> Don't make yourself ridiculous, Sydney. Oh, nice one, Phyllis. <laughs> Got a couple of bottles down here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good time. <laughs> do, do sit down. <laughs> Veronica Straddles, eh? <laughs> Damn nice name. <laughs> what did you say you did, by the way? I'm a receptionist. I knew it, you know. Funny thing, there's a lovely receptionist in Cromer. My word, yes. <laughs> she must be a grandmother by now. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Very words. <laughs> Listen to it. Heaven help the sailors on the sea. Still, we're cosy, aren't we? <laughs> yes, Mother. <laughs> It's a pity everything's closed, of course. But still, we've got each other, haven't we? Yes, Mother. What are you writing? A suicide note, Mother. <laughs> Timothy, you've got everything to live for. There's me for a start. Yes, Mother. Dear Father, wish you were here. Wish I wasn't. Our hotel window is marked with an X. Going due east from it, the next highest thing is the Urals. There's no need to be lavatorial, Timothy. Sorry, Mother. Oh.